Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and I hear you. The people have spoken. You want longer videos, and you want me to talk slower. I will do my best to give you both. I'm going to give you a little bit of a compromise. We'll go up to 35 minutes, but any more than that, it's getting a little bit long. You got to understand, there's a lot I want to achieve. So, with my plans coming up, coming up in the future, videos are going to have to be a little bit shorter, unfortunately. Um, but, on the upside, you should start seeing more live streams from me. Uh, right. Oh, my encampment has been obliterized. So, now we are going to shoot the Mamluk over here. We are going to retreat you into the city. Shoot to kill, preferably. Shoot to kill. And then shoot to kill. So we're wiping out quite a few units here. That's good. This is a rough war. I will <laughs> readily admit that. This is a rough, rough war. And now we have a unit here to do some more damage. Excellent. Uh, and up here. So we have completed a bank. What do we want to do in here with regards to defending the city? Well, I think we just go ahead and grab a stock exchange. We are starting to run out of amenities, so I'm glad I'm starting to get some of those uh, things online. I think I'm going to try to repair the encampment. Hopefully that works. And we will go ahead and hang you out there. And you're going to fortify there. You will stick around there. Although I might combine you with this level 4 guy. <clears throat> who has a few more promotions. Uh, up here, we have a little bit of a pickle. That we need to take care of. I'm thinking of focusing fire on this privateer. And hoping that that leads to a good outcome. Excellent. So we got the privateer. Awesome. We have our inquisitors. We are slowly getting our religion back. Excellent. You have only one spread charge left. I'm going to have you park over here in Anzio. And this little skirmisher up here will start to explore. We are doing some exploration. It's happening. We are finally revealing the world for what it is. And Mongolia thinks that my cavalry is an embarrassment. That is a fair and fine and a reasonable thing to do. The reason we're going for the money is because money will help us uh, translate into a lot of really good things. Oh, wow. He will give me two relics in exchange for peace. Now, considering he declared war on me, I'm going to take this peace because I don't really want to be at war with it anymore. We have our religion restored. Okay, there's urbanization. We are going to be building neighborhoods because in the mod, I should have taken more time to talk about the changes in the mod as they came up. I do really, really apologize about that. We'll play through this mod again and I'll spend a little bit more time talking about uh, what has actually changed in the mod and why I'm playing uh, the way I am with these things. I think, I think this series has been really helpful for me to figure out uh, where I'm going wrong when I'm making my content and stuff like that. But the reason we are going to be going for the neighborhood is because it'll give us a lot of housing, but most importantly, it's going to give us those citizen yields and it has a citizen capacity of one. However, if we unlock the food market, you can see here it gives plus two citizen slots, which is amazing. And it's going to allow us to grow our cities even more because essentially what we're doing is by building those neighborhoods, we're creating tiles that our cities can work. They are only two food, one production, but two food is better than no food. Uh, right, so we have unlocked urbanization. I would kind of like to get conservation, but I think we're going to head up. I'd like to get suffrage and ideology and all that sort of stuff hammered away. So we're going to make our way towards colonialism. Uh, up here, we're going to go ahead and repair the university because it only takes one turn. and That's worth plus eight science. I'm going to have you guys park in the city. And I think I can go exploring with this privateer. Just try to reveal a little bit of the map. And we'll have you come down this way. You go into alert mode. You go into alert mode. You go into alert mode. Now I really also should repair the walls in here. But that's going to be another story. You hang out there, little inquisitor. I'm keeping uh, my one charge inquisitors around because I want to have options with regards to if Arabia comes back in with religious units so I have a few inquisitors around that I can fight them with. Let's grab another inquisitor to hopefully start restoring my religion. And it looks like 
France wants to get an embassy with us. And I will go ahead and take that. <clears throat> should band together. So he wants to be friends. Oh no. They should, they should band together. Gotcha. I'm not really sure what, what he's trying to say to me there, but... Uh, ah, yes. I will be friends with you, the Ottomans. Got Kume over here. City restoring health. And now we can get upgraded scouts. We also got a privateer up here that we can use to start exploring a little bit. And we're just trying to find out stuff in the world. Maybe there's a city that we could settle somewhere. That would be fun. I don't really have anything I need to build up here with the exception of a stock exchange, which would be pretty good to pick up. I'm hoping that I have some oil. I would be very, very upset if I did not have oil. Um, okay, pair that. So this is recovering health. That's excellent. And we have walls up here now. Um, I think we have all the districts that we want, although I do want to get a builder down in here to get a bit of repair work done. And I'll go ahead and grab it here in Setia. And we'll head down here. Now, some people have said that the uh, production from population mod is a little bit OP and it kind of changes the game uh, a little bit too much. And I, I can see those criticisms, but I just don't necessarily agree. We're going to do a little bit of damage there. And set up for hopefully a kill later on. Because if we can get this kill, that's a pretty good swing of religious pressure. I'm going to have you swing down as well. Now, Rome, I don't think I quite need so many field cannons. So we're going to cancel those. And in the meantime, we will probably want to get an oil power plant in here. But for now, we're going to work on stuff like barracks, stables, all that sort of stuff to get extra housing. Now, I could go ahead and build a neighborhood in here. And it's probably a good spot for one right there, actually, now that I look at it. It's only a plus four, but it does give the city more tiles to work. We'll go ahead and place that down and we'll get to work on that neighborhood because eventually this city is going to run out of tiles to work. I think food and production focus is like pretty good here. With an emphasis on science as well would be good. Now the government district. I forget what the exact benefits of the citizen slots in the government plaza are. Science, culture, gold and production. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure we... We focus on that, make sure they're working that. That is a good spread. Food and production, keep the city producing, keep the city growing. Up here, we're going to do a little bit more exploration. Excellent. Unit needs orders over here. And yeah, I think we will continue to siphon funds because that's what we want. I could recruit partisans if I wanted to be extra, extra crispy and extra annoying. And that was not exactly the path that I chose, but I will accept that as the path that you go on. Unfortunately, one of my industrial zones has been pillaged over here in Mediolanum. So we'll be uh, prioritizing fixing that back up because that is my primary source of power. So I'm going to lose a lot of my empire's uh, ability. Um, we'll get to work on that. I think I'll finish the military academy though. Over here, we finished a privateer that we can use to continue to explore the coastline. And I would like to get a neighborhood. I'm trying to think of a good spot for one. It's actually not a terrible spot there, but I think that would be better for this city to put one there. Um, yeah, if you're going to put one there, then I don't mind putting one here, which will give this campus an extra adjacency. Even if it is crushing a very nice tile, in theory, the neighborhood should give us more benefits. And this would give this campus an extra adjacency as well by placing it here. Now, this is technically a better tile, but I'm going to put it here. Hmm. Yeah. I'll put it right there. And over here, I definitely want to get more neighborhoods. And I want to ideally place them in places where I'll get extra adjacency from placing them. This is probably an okay spot to put it to. Make sure we set up for a bit of religious combat. Excellent. So now Islam has been hurt and Neptunianism, Neptunianism is a little bit stronger. I'll put you asleep in there. And I'm going to swing down to see if I can get rid of Islam out of Kume. You're coming down this way as well. I'm going to park you on this lumber mill right here. 
and my skirmisher is ready. I could upgrade him, but I don't think there is a need to. We shall keep exploring here. I want to try and reveal as much of the fog of war as possible. There might be some islands over here to settle too. Oh no, we have found some more terrain. Very cool. We could send envoys to Jerusalem. Might not be a bad idea to get that little bit of extra faith. I'll take that small chunk of faith. And over here, we're going to gain sources, although I do want to upgrade you first. I'm going to go, ta go ahead and take the linguist promotion to make him more efficient at doing what he needs to do. Uh, let's have a look here. Right, we're continuing to explore with this guy. That was not the planned move, but it is a move I will accept. I want you to be exp exploring land, actually, over um, coastline. That would be preferable. <coughs> So we'll get you moving back up onto land and doing a little bit of exploration. Ah, excellent. We've completed every building in the encampment and we are going to trigger ourselves a very nice golden age. And you get over there. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and get repairing. I kind of wish you could purchase repair. Sadly, you cannot. And I'm going to remove that improvement and throw down a very nice neighborhood right here which will technically increase the number of tiles the city can work i don't need a coal power plant in here i would really like a neighborhood though so where could i put a pretty reasonable neighborhood i would like a plus four i'd be happy with a plus four see here you have one two three so this would give my commercial hub over here an extra adjacency do i have a campus in here i do not and if i were to build a campus it would most likely be placed if I buy this tile, it most likely be placed over here. And if that's where the most likely place my campus is, then even a plus three neighborhood wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because it would provide the potential for more adjacency bonuses. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we will continue to siphon points, although I think it would be a good idea to gain sources first. And we have an apostle rolling through. Really need to get you healed up, so we're going to send you back up on the retreat. See if I can't find. Go ahead and do the Inquisition here. Let's see if I can't find a couple of Inquisitioners to surround this Apostle and block him off. And get prepared to take him on next turn. You're going to heal up here. Uh, you are going to go into alert mode and you are going to head down here to see if you can get some land-based exploration. In fact, I might even try to get open borders off of Arabia. Because if I can get open borders with him, I can know a little bit more about his sieve. We could do a little bit of water-based exploration here. And we're continuing to just generally explore a little bit over here and another little bit of exploration over here. Excellent. Very good. At long last, we're finding things out about the world. I pro Again, I probably should have done a lot more exploration. Oh, and we even met Sweden. It's an honor to meet you. Sweden is all the way over here in Stockholm. And apparently she captured Fez. Wait, who captured Fez? Greece did. My Inquisitor was attacked. And we completed the neighborhood. Colonialism. And there's colonialism. We'll soon start working on natural history. Right. Let's bring you in. We'll attack there. And there. And now we have begun to clean out the Islam in our empire. And we shall convert here. This one's going to need a couple. This one's going to need a couple of spreads. Might want to use my apostle for that one. I'm going to send you guys back up to heal as well. Although that'll be have to be that'll have to be a thing for next turn. We have four thousand gold in the bank, uh, and we can almost purchase districts. And I'd like to. When do I get my next governor title? That is a really important question. Not until mass media. I do need a little bit of culture. Actually, it might have been a good idea to get some culture. And in fact, I could get a little bit of culture over here in Lugdunum. I'd also like to get a neighborhood. There's a plus five one right there. I'll throw down the neighborhood, but I'm also going to throw down the theater square to get a little bit of extra culture. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and build a neighborhood because this city just really lacks tiles to work. Um, the citizens are kind of stuffed in here. Like little sardines in a can. Okay, there's definitely some tile improvements to be had over here. And we have an Inquisitor that's supposed to heal up. Wake up, heal. Unit needs orders here. You're going to go into alert mode. You're continuing to explore. Excellent. Ooh, we even found the Galapagos. I could have delayed discovering that for the extra error score in the next era since we've already dis since we've already secured ourselves a Golden Age. But I'm not too worried about optimizing for Golden Ages right now. Uh, I think the next era is so far away that optimizing on that sort of a time scale is... Oh, he's building the Grand Canal. Very cool. Not the Grand Canal, the, Pan the, the Panama Canal, which I guess you can kind of call it a Grand Canal, I guess. <clears throat> I'm very excited about the future of our empire. Things are going really, really well for us. We're building a lot of really important buildings and we've got a lot of infrastructure done. Now we are missing power right now, which kind of sucks. My troops are really passing by. Unit needs orders over here. Uh, I don't want to build another coal power plant. I do, however, want to maybe start getting more traders in my capital. So I'll prioritize making that happen. I'm going to go ahead and grab the armory because it's going to provide us with more housing. We have the neighborhood locked in. And we can continue to grow this city. And we're going to start f making a super capital by feeding Rome. Okay, uh, over here we completed the stock exchange. I'd like to repair the wall, so we'll get that done real quick. We have seven envoys to play with, but there's not really anyone I want to trade with at the moment. This guy has been healed up. Now, he is a theologian. I am going to spend this guy to remove the pressure and then convert with this guy. I don't mind killing off the occasional Inquisitor, I think that's fine, but I do want to try to preserve as many of them as possible so that I have combat units like this Apostle over here coming to be annoying. Now he's just a regular old Apostle. And I think it's time that we purchased ourselves another Inquisitor. Let's get you healed up and let's get you healed up. Unit needs orders over here. Do I have any Inquisitors sitting around not doing anything? Nope, I kind of, no, I kind of regret that. I didn't see this apostle over here, but we will want to fight him. I think I might just do some damage to him. If I hurt him, the less powerful he is for spreading and the easier combat will be later. Continuing to explore over here. I'm going to pop you up here. Then you're going to pop in through this little gap. Okay. Potential place for that uh, Golden Gate Bridge, actually. Which could be very interesting. And it looks like... Uh, the Ottomans, I have lost my open borders agreement with them. We'll take one, and I'll also send them a resident embassy. I could get an alliance with them, but I don't think that's necessary. And we're continuing to explore, which feels pretty good. Sweden, we have met... Oh, I'm being denounced by Sweden. She is not happy with me, although she's a very long way away, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, you'd actually like a religious alliance? Yes, sure. Give me a little bit of money and I'll accept that. Seems like a fair and reasonable thing to do. Okay, Tamara was ravaged by a natural disaster. I'll vote that up because my hope is that the AI will waste all of their production doing those projects and I will be able to get further ahead. A little bit of a strategic move there. It looks like it was passed unanimously. Um, now we have oil and we have been lucky enough to be blessed by the oil gods with oil. Now, we have only found one source of oil. That is very unfortunate. However, we did find this piece of oil. I'm going to buy that to make sure I get it. And in order to secure this oil, what I can do... It's a little bit crazy and it costs a lot of money, but if I buy all of these tiles out here... The city will be forced to grow outside of its normal radius and potentially unlock these for me. Even if I had settled one tile up, I wouldn't have been in range of this one. So that's, that one's kind of oddly placed. But by doing this, I essentially say to the city, hey, you have to grow to a tile that you wouldn't normally grow to. So get me that oil. Okay. 
Uh, right, so we need to repair the coal power plant so we can restore power to our empire. We repaired the other walls in here. I do want a neighborhood. Uh, the question is, there's not... It's kind of hard to pick a spot for it. I could give up this wheat. It wouldn't give me an adjacency bonus. I could put it here. That wouldn't give me an adjacency bonus either. I could kill the lumber mill. And this city has plenty of production. I could kill the linking farm. And I will kill the linking farm. I'm killing high value tiles, but don't forget that I'm also getting extra workspace for my cities in return. All right, so let's get these guys over here in position to fight this apostle. You are healed up, so I can bring you down to also fight. I'm going to attack with my apostle first because I'll do more damage because he has the debater promotion, and then I'll attack there. And then I'll hopefully bring you up to finish him off. Get a bunch of Neptunianism, Neptunianism pressure. And then uh, over here in Ostia, I'm going to organize this by food. Because my goal is to feed my capital to a level never before seen. We're going to have an absolute mega capital. That is the hope, the dream, the goal. And perhaps we can achieve it. So let's continue to explore. We want to fill in as much of this empty space as possible. At least before we get the thing that launches the Earth satellite. Which will reveal a lot more of the map for us. And I'm continuing to explore down here. Just drop in there, pop out. And we are working on electricity. You want to buy some of my nitre. It's not a very good amount, but whatever. I'll take the deal. It's not like the nitre. I'm, I'm doing anything with it. Um, yeah, I'll take your nitre. It's whatever. So power has been restored, which is good. Because we're missing in a lot of production. And I want a neighborhood. And I'm going to place it right here to provide adjacency to Kume's campus later on. There's a lot of stuff unbuilt in here. I need that entertainment complex done, although it's under construction. Okay, so here in this, we've basically completed everything that we need in this city. I'm going to say focus on food and production and science. Although more so just food and production. And I think I do want a builder in here because there's a few tiles that need to be tidied up. I have this builder down here. The Kahoki amount isn't awful. But I'll put a farm in there. And I'll get to work on a builder real quick. Because there's a couple of tiles over here that I'd like to improve. And there's a few sea tiles that could be improved as well. We've got the armory in the capital. Let's go ahead and grab the military academy. Up here we completed the neighborhood, which means we have plenty of housing. We're going to go ahead and get the bank because more money means less problems. We're going to go ahead and get the... Um, that is a deductive reasoning if... Uh, sorry. <laughs> if more money means more problems, then less money should mean less problems. I don't, listen, I don't know where I was going with that, all right? Listen, sometimes I say things or I think about them. It doesn't make any sense. And that, you just got to live with that, man. You just got to live with the fact that sometimes. Sometimes we say dumb shit. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and heal these guys up. I'm going to bring my apostle back up once again to heal up. These guys are poised and ready to potentially kill that guru. Oh, wow, he's really strong, but he is on his defensive terrain, so... Something to consider. You're doing your exploration. We're going to loop back down this way. Barb camp. Excellent. We could pillage that if we wanted to. I'm going to pop you in over here. Do a little bit of sweeping back this direction. And we're going to start exploring out west. Now, it's unlikely that we find anything of value out in this ocean. But I still think it's worth it to explore it. Just on the off chance that you find something that makes you regret if you hadn't explored as you can see, our religion is becoming turgid and powerful and strong and, well, well established. All right, let's go to the next turn and see what we can pull off. 
neighborhood coming up here. I've got a, quite a few tile improvements left. Mostly my empire is tidied up in terms of tile improvements. There's a little bit of work to be done down here in some of these cities. Uh, it might be worth it to actually just buy builders. Ooh, the Haboob Dust Storm. It is improving tiles, but it's also damaging tiles, which really, really sucks. Um, but it is what it is. You guys just all stay fortified. You come down to Palmyra and convert that city. And up here, we completed a builder to try and tidy up this area. Now, uh, did I in fact get a neighborhood in here? I don't think I did. No, I would like a neighborhood. And I think probably the best spot for it might actually be over here on this tile. I guess I'm going to put it here for the plus six housing. That's fine. Uh, up here, we're going to go ahead and work on the military academy. Although it might be a good idea to go ahead and repair now the uh, walls. Repair the outer defenses so that we're prepped for the next war. We've got a neighborhood over here in Kume. Let's make sure we're focusing on food and production. Um, and, you know... Builder never killed anybody. We could use some more. Let's pull all these guys back a tile. And I can start putting Cahokia Mounds in the desert, which I like the idea of. I'm going to get those elephants online. Turn that into a viable tile. You're going to start swinging down this way. Excellent. Discovering wonderful things. You have not really found a whole lot of value. Let's go ahead and get you over here. Wow, you really can't get out that way. Got it. We'll do a little bit of a loop around this continent. So yeah, actually pretty interestingly, I got kind of locked onto a continent with Arabia as my only other neighbor. So I, if I had taken him out, I would have had this whole thing to myself, which is pretty interesting. At least I think it is. No, maybe you disagree. Things are looking up for us, though. I think... So far, right? We stole some gold. Excellent. So we repaired the outer defenses. Oh dear, sweet Jesus Christ. Let's start getting some repairs going on these cities. It's necessary. Let's repair that. The bots are the big one. Some of these units took some serious hits. That Haboob Storm. Uh, not to be confused with Darude uh, Sandstorm. Uh, did a lot of damage to us. I'm sorry for making that joke. I really, really am sorry. I'm not sorry. I lied. Um, all right. Uh, you are healed up. So I'm going to bring you down into a defensive position. And I could start putting Kahoki amount. Like Kahoki amount, Kahoki amount, Kahoki amount, Kahoki amount. You know what I mean? Let's do that. Like, why not? They provide housing. Uh, they provide housing and potentially amenities as well. Okay, I'm going to get you to hang out in Palmyra. As a defensive unit, we're continuing to explore. We found Lisbon, and Lisbon I will send six envoys to to get a bunch of extra gold. That's nearly a hundred gold we just picked up there, which is amazing. Uh, I'd love to keep stealing. Now, we can do something really annoying. And in fact, we're going to. We're probably going to start spawning partisans in here to be annoying. Uh, because that seems like an awful lot of fun to me. I don't know. What, what is it about computer games and a desire to be incredibly annoying? <laughs> oh, there's something more to it, man. I could breach the dam. Do it. Causing chaos and destruction is my middle name. Bumper, 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 bum. Okay, so we've unlocked electricity. There's a few important buildings here. The hydroelectric dam, less so important. More importantly, uh, the oil power plant. Also, you guys totally called me out that I didn't um, 
I didn't confirm my audio settings. My bad. Your grace. Whoops. I confirmed at that time, right? We can double check. Right, it's confirmed. So it should be a little bit louder, right? I, I apologize. It's probably been too too quiet for too long. Now, I want to pick up replaceable parts here for even more food. More importantly, getting the food market, which I can use to grow even bigger cities. We got the neighborhood in here, and I think I'd really like to get the seaport online. Now, I could purchase it, and that would catapult this city into uh, godhood, basically, if I were to do that. That would be a fun thing to do. I'm not against the idea. Um, I could just hard build it and keep the city busy, because what else is it going to do at its time? Not much. We'll go ahead and build the seaport in here, and similarly, we'll get the seaport in here as well. This will give us plus two gold from all the coastal tiles. We've got a lot of repairs to do in here. Yikers. We're going to focus on repairing the campus over here. We'll also get the seaport, although an oil power plant would be appealing to me. A lot of my trade routes have been murdered. Um, yeah, an oil power plant would be appealing to me because it will give extra production to the nearby area as well as powering it. Um, now, it would use a lot of oil. and I do plan on using an oil power plant up here. So I'm a little bit worried about doing too much power. So we might just go ahead and grab the seaport in here, mainly for the bonuses that it gives itself. Um, the entertainment complex has been completed. Uh, let's finish that off. That's only one turn away. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Someone with very strong religious units is rolling through my territory. That is very annoying. I think we're just going to hide. I think that is the goal. I have Gustav Eiffel, but there's no wonders that I want to build, so I'm not really sure what to do with him. You just go to sleep there. Apostle. Go to sleep there. The only city left, really, for me to convert is Baghdad. Um, and I might just throw away an Inquisitor to do that, so that my religion is fully re-established and I'm making an outrageous amount of gold. Feels really good. Um, I'll put a mine there. And you shall continue to explore for me. Now, I could put a Kahuki amount there, or I could put a farm. I think I'm going to put the farm. Kahuki amount right there. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a builder. Let me double check. I think I need a builder down here. And I need a builder. Hmm. I definitely need a new builder here to tidy up all these things that just got pillaged. And I definitely need a new builder over here to tidy up all these things that just got pillaged. So a little bit of work to be done. I really want to do the partisan thing, but I think this guy needs to be a higher level. So we'll do the stealing, which is a higher percentage chance of success. Wow, really? You made an entire wall of districts here, essentially. It's pretty crazy. Let's do a little mini loop here. Keep exploring this territory. There's a Barbary Corsair over there. We are about to finish. Okay, you can buy those even if you're not giving me a good price. We're about to finish a neighborhood in here. And we have almost unlocked the food market, which is going to let us to grow even bigger cities, which feels really good. All right, knowledge of chemistry has advanced considerably. We've got the military academy in the capital. We will be going for the oil power plant to provide production and power to these nearby cities. And we'll go ahead and repair the encampment in here as well. Let's go ahead and get the commercial hub repaired because we're missing a lot of trade routes because that was damaged. We'll go ahead and grab the seaport in here to make these tiles a little bit more uh, attractive to work. We'll repair the campus here. And I'd love to get a little bit more culture. So I'm going to prioritize getting the theater square up because I need a little bit of culture to get through this end of the tech tree. I've been kind of neglecting my culture pretty heavily this game. But, you know, on purpose, but still neglecting. And, um, I'm going to put my neighborhood right there. Excellent. Oh, you know what? We'll purchase the seaport. That'll help that city out just that little bit. Let's get down here and repair that. We've got a little bit of repair work to do. Now, Kahoki amount right there. Farm. Farms are really powerful. Plus one food, plus one production. I will do a Kahoki amount right there. Makes these desert tiles almost workable, honestly. You will head over here, put a farm down, and link this all up. Maybe I'll keep the forest, maybe I'll put a farm on it. We'll think about that one.
We are continuing to explore. We'll loop back this way. And we shall loop down this way as well. Let us continue. Subtler Arts of Subterfuge. And I suppose with that dawn and this turn, this fresh turn coming up with Natural History, where we'll get access to the water park, I suppose we can call that an episode well made. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.